Hello guys, my name is Prinsola. I would like to show you how to set up a, a stop loss on your tap trader using tap trader. And uh, what I'm trying to refer to is that you know I believe most of us connect our tap trader to our Binance account to this tap trader application. So the easiest way to make use of it is to the it make tap trader firstly tap trader make trading easier for people and um, it's one of the best applications that you can connect with different brand, uh, exchange uh, exchange accounts to and trade them trade on trade up uh, trade on all of them in one application so that is one of the reasons why tap trader is one of the best app for traders and uh, the thing is that um the thing now is that um, um, um okay how to set a stop loss so let us assume we bought this coin from this point from down here then we would like to set a stop loss maybe down here and look at the coin it will go up like this so in case if this thing reverse downward then you know since when i bought it i will be having in mind that i want to set my stop loss down here <coughs> sorry thank uh, sorry guys so now that it have go up like this then i will have to move my stop loss a little bit up but this have to do with us knowing where to put our stop loss and things like that and also we should remember that stop loss is different from uh, stop loss on uh, binance is different from the settings of stop loss on binance is different from other application so this might be an issue this might be an issue so but i would be helping us in getting to know how to set for tap trade uh, for binance for other exchange maybe we will talk on those one later but for now let's focus on binance first so what you just do is that you click on this top this upper this thing here when you click on it you already know we have to know where we want to put the stop loss first then let's say we want to put the stop loss here that is five percent okay let's say okay five percent downward a little bit okay let's say we put the stop loss here because i don't want this to trigger so that is an alert we should remember this one that i put here now is an alert it's not a stop loss yet so it's not a stop loss yet so now i want to put my stop loss there that is 2.5 2.5721 then i will click on this side then click on this this side so we click on this side then remember stop limit is working market is working stop loose is not working for binance so we should not click on this take profit also is not working for binance and all these these also are not working so what we need here is this stop loss limit and also stop loss limits limit and the market are the ones that are working so if you want to set the stop loss for binance on binance using tab trader then we have to click on stop loss limit so now i click on stop loss limit and i have this drop down and now what we we do is that i bought the coin at the rate of i don't know what i want to set it at so now if the coin goes to what this thing is telling us is that the price when the price get to this point it should stop and then sell for us at this point then the quantity that i want to sell will be here and the amount we get will be here so that is what this thing is telling us so now when the coin goes to two points i don't remember what i said the other time but i will just try and fix something there okay let me go and check it first so that I don't want this thing to trigger and then sell my coin. Okay, two five two point five seven two one. So I follow the same criteria step point five seven two one. Then if the coin gets to two point five seven two one, then it should say for me at two point five seven two. Then the quantity I want to sell is. 200 it should say 200 for me the reason why i'm putting this i you can put any amount you want and the quantity of the coin you want to sell should be here 
so i want to set 100 out of the 600 that i have so now this is what that will give me and what i did here is that this stock price should be bigger you can see stock price the stock price should be bigger than the order price the reason why is that the stock price should be at the top of where you want to sell you know if you put the stock price below if you set the stock price below that means you are uh, the price uh, how will i say it you know the stock price when the stock price is above the price will get there first before it will sell for you at the price below you cannot sell at the exact place that the price have already touched so you have to beat a beat it down low a little bit so that is why we have it like this and then now next thing we have to do is to click this sell not buy we want to say step uh, say stop loss not uh, not uh, not buy so we set we click on the sell after we have put all this thing in order remember this must be higher than this then we put the quantity of the coin we want to sell here yeah. then the total amount of money we get will be this so other things you will leave them the way they are and don't remember don't forget to click on stop loss limit not this side don't touch it at all so then we click on sell now the stop loss have been there this is it here this red line that you're looking at you can see it's above it's on top of the line so that is how to set stop loss and you can see my coin have been removed here then we can check the order in this area too so this order have not when the price goes down to touch this side then it is safe for me so when this coin comes down and starts going downward to this side and start going down to this side if it comes down like this and start going down then i will have get out from here i will not lose all this again so that is the point and remember i assume that i bought from this side then my stop loss should be down here but since it have go up i have to move my stop loss up a little bit so that is why i have my stop loss at this area now now if the coin goes up here i will remove this stop loss i will remove it cancel it then i will move the stop loss up a little bit more so i'm trying to cut my profit in instead of me letting everything go out so i'm trying to cut the profit in small small that is what i'm trying to do here so that is the game that's the game it's very simple as that so take care guys and uh, watch out to my next time video and uh, don't forget to click on subscribe and if and also if needed you can comment if there's anything you will need me to do later for you guys thank you bye